Next delivery, 230 Charlie Delta is ready for departure, runway 34, Hanover. Delta Charlie Delta, Montebello, 4000, release for departure, the clearance is void in 5 minutes. Clearance void in 5 minutes, release for departure, 230 Charlie Delta. So this flight represented a few things for me. It was, of course, always fun to fly to an event with uh, lots of some people that I know and also some aviation celebrities. But also, this represented my first IFR flight. Just uh, last month, I got my instrument rating, which was quite a, a, uh, a big event for me and something I'm very proud of. So I wanted to kick off that rating with a big trip and I decided to make this my first trip. So it was pretty ambitious to do, to go halfway across the country. And I had never been west of the Mississippi on, in my plane. So I was flying solo IFR. Of course, the, uh, the thing that made it easier was it was not a very IMC day. There, was, there were probably less than 10% of the whole trip was in IMC, but there was some IMC, and uh, most mostly it was good for me to practice filing flight plans and uh, getting clearances and talking to ATC and all the things that go with instrument flying. So really happy with the way the trip went, and that was probably one of my bigger motivations, even more so than going to the event. Potomac approach, Cirrus 230, Charlie Delta 1300, climbing 4000. Zero Charlie Delta radar contact northwest of Hanover 1400, climb maintain 8000. Climb maintain 8000, 230 Charlie Delta. Right, zero Charlie Delta, my new frequency 132.85. 132.85 for zero Charlie Delta. I've just entered Kentucky and I am at 8,000 feet and cruising along at about 135 knots. Everything's really good. It's almost too well. It's a VFR day. I could do this flight VFR, but I decided to uh, file a flight plan and uh, it's going to be a perfect day. I was able to get direct from Indianapolis Center, so instead of following my flight plan, which was a little bit convoluted, I was able to get direct all the way to my final destination, so that's uh, over 300 nautical miles, uh, probably about 350 miles of uh, direct that I was able to get because of the lack of competition up here, so it's uh, the flight's going great so far. There's 230 Charlie Delta across the Yodo at above 2,900. Cleared on air runway 22 approach Harrisburg Airport. A 230 Charlie Delta will cross a Yodo at 2,900 or above, and I'm cleared for the RNAV 22 to Harrisburg. 30 Charlie Delta report established. Will report established. 230 Charlie Delta. Harrisburg Airport. Harrisburg Airport. Automated weather observation system will report departure runway 24 Airport. Automated weather observation. One, four, five, four. Zulu. Wind one niner zero at zero four. Visibility one zero. Sky condition overcast one thousand niner hundred. Memphis Center, Cirrus two three zero Charlie Delta established on the RNAV two two. Cirrus zero Charlie Delta, thank you, sir. Uh, report IFR cancellation on this frequency or on the ground due flight service. Change to advisory frequency approved. We'll cancel later and uh, change to advisory frequency 230 Charlie Delta. Tyersburg traffic, here is 230 Charlie Delta, uh, 5 miles to the north, inbound on the RNAV for 22. Hold stop, Tyersburg. needed to make a fuel stop here at Dyersburg. I also had a work phone call I needed to make, a, web, a webinar. So I was here for several hours uh, on a phone call and then I got back in the plane and took back off for the remainder of the trip. Delta with you at 1,300, climbing 6,000. 
Oh yeah. So, oh yeah. Oh clever. So you'll end up doing them tail to tail. Yeah. yeah, I like it. That's great. Thank you. I like your Jeep. Thank you. So a lot of people showed up for the event. It was both indoors and outdoors. Great uh, restaurant there as part of the facility. And uh, this is the Lockheed Electra. It's a very similar model to what um, Amelia Earhart flew. There are only a few of those left in the world that are flying. And these guys were giving rides to people. I didn't take a ride in it, but they went in and out all day giving rides. Very generous. Also, uh, Corey Robin of the Flying Cowboys and his Carbon Cub was also giving rides. That's the Stoll landing, the short takeoff and landing uh, crowd. You see some jets coming in that uh, some of the VIPs showed up in jets to, uh, to probably show off a little bit. But um, it, you just a lot of you know steermen, biplanes, and uh, all the notables from YouTube were there. Air Hawk Life, Blanco Lirio, Bruce Air Flying, Corey Robin. Steerman Field, Cirrus two three zero, Charlie Delta, departing one seven, departing to the east. Steerman. So I'm ending this story with some really great video of the flight home. Uh, big cumulus clouds, non-threatening cumulus clouds existed on the route. I was flying at 9,000 feet, had a great tailwind, and I had a ground speed of uh, something like 170 knots at, at some times, and that's getting closer to 200 miles per hour uh, on the way home, so that was really fun, and the trip all the way to Hanover was uneventful and normal landing and put the plane away. So, uh, great trip, and um, I will remember it for the rest of my life.